So let us work out one problem on this concept. Turn to page number 155 of Sadiku. It's, uh, it's number 4. Okay, so we have got one problem, uh, example number 4.5. So it says that two extensive homogeneous isotropic dielectrics meet on plane z equals to 0. So he says that clearly z equal to 0, meet on plane z equals to 0. That means if z equals to 0, it, it signifies which plane? Obviously the xy plane. Okay, so obviously the, the normal vector will be along this axis and xy plane is containing the boundary surface. So this is the this contains the tangential component okay uh, this contains the tangential component and he says that uh, z is for z for z greater than 0 uh, epsilon r1 equals to 4 and for z less than 0 epsilon r2 is equals to 3 so he says that there is a medium and this is z equals to 0 okay so on this side z is less than 0 on this side z is more than 0 and on this side we have got epsilon r2 is equals to 3 and here epsilon r1 is equals to 4 okay so uh, these are the preliminary these are the preliminary conditions for us now he says a uniform electric field e1 so he says that clearly the, ele the electric field intensity in the first one is given for us so e1 is given to be 5 ax minus 2 ay plus 3 az kilo volts per meter okay so he says that e1 is the given value there on the in in, uh, in the in this uh, particular field okay for z greater than 0 it is the uh, field given for us so this is existing in this uh, first medium so this is medium 1 and this medium 2 okay now uh, he is asking us find e2 for z less than 0 that i mean yeah he is asking you what is e2 value here okay and apart from that he is also asking the angles e1 and e2 making with the interface interface means it's here it is the boundary condition uh, if i take the data e1 is given for us like this so of these three components i need to identify which is the normal component and which is the tangential component and uh, what is the normal here so i want the unit normal here an so an1 so what does an1 signify an1 signifies the normal vector unit normal vector in the first medium and uh, from this given data since uh, it is along z axis obviously we can say that a z is our normal unit vector now obviously from the formula what is e n 1 e n 1 is what i told you it is simply e 1 dot a n 1 cap of course here all are bars only into a n 1 okay so now here if i substitute the values given for us it is simply 2 I mean 5 a x cap minus 2 a y cap plus 3 a z cap okay dot of dot of a n is what a n is a z into a z cap of course okay now so if I perform this dot product this was a x dot a z is 0 so I can cancel this a y dot a z also is 0 so uh, what is a z dot a z it is 1 so we are having in the inside this bracket the dot product reduces to 3 so it is simply 3 into a z cap now now once we got e n 1 what would be obviously e t 1 e t 1 would be e 1 minus e n 1 so it will be obviously uh, if I take away this 3 a x from the given e 1 I will be getting the remaining two components 5 and 2 which is for ax and ay so simply i can write it as 5 ax cap minus 2 ay cap okay so this is your et1 now uh, from the form from the boundary conditions i know that et1 is equals to et2 so i can as well write the same et1 as et2 so we got et2 okay so we got et2 out of this uh, he is asking you e2 so what is e2 it is a combination of e n2 and et2 so out of en2 and et2 we got et2 here so we are now, now supposed to de de determine the value of en2 so how will you get en2 the boundary condition corresponding to normal components would be simply dn1 is equals to dn2 so from this equation i can substitute d with the epsilon into e so if from that equation can i write epsilon into i mean epsilon naught into epsilon r1 into en1 is the replacement for dn1 so dn1 can be replaceable with epsilon naught into epsilon r1 into en1 
similarly what is the replacement for dn2 dn2 is simply epsilon naught into epsilon r2 into en2 okay so what would be the resultant now i want dn2 so can i write en2 is equals to epsilon r1 by epsilon r2 into en1 so that's what is the resultant we are, we are going to get for en2 now just substitute the values of yeah, epsilon r1 and epsilon r2 given in the formula and given the problem and what do i get now uh, epsilon r1 is given to be 4 and this is 3 so 4 by 3 into simply i mean uh, yeah 4 by 3 into simply 3 so 3 is at cap strictly speaking so it is 3 3 gets cancelled so you are having now what 4 into a z cap okay so uh, e and 2 is 4 into a z cap so what would be e2 then e2 would be simply uh, e n1 plus e t1 so what is the, what, i mean sorry e, t, e n2 plus e t2 so what do we got e t e t e n2 e n2 is 4 into a z and e t2 is uh, yeah e t2 is 5 a x minus 2 a y so i can write the total the total summation i can write it as 5 a x cap plus I mean so minus 2ay cap plus 4 into a z cap kilovolts per meter so this is the final value of e2 bar okay so this is the final value of e2 bar so et1 is 5ax minus 2ay and if I take the magnitude it will be getting we will be getting it as root 29 and coming to en1 what is the magnitude of 3az it is obviously 3 so I can write theta 1 the basic formula was tan inverse e t1 by e n1 okay so this is the basic formula for us so what is e n1 magnitude magnitude of this vector is root of 29 so it can be under root tan inverse of root of 29 divided by 3 so y3 is the magnitude of e n1 so you will be getting this resultant final as 60.9 degrees so what is the 60.9 degrees it is the angle made by the uh, resultant vector e1 with respect to the normal i want the uh, angle made by this e1 with respect to the interface or boundary surface so what is uh, uh, that angle which is to which is make making with respect to the interface it is nothing but alpha 1 and how we got alpha 1 alpha 1 is the 90 degrees minus theta 1 so it is simply uh, 29.1 degrees okay so this is the value of alpha 1 now coming to theta 2 what is theta 2 theta 2 is the only change in this formula is a tan inverse of e t 2 by e n 2 okay so what is the tangential component here this is a this is a tangential component e t 2 okay and this e n 2 so what is the magnitude of what is the magnitude of this ET2 same same as ro, I mean uh, root of 29 so tan inverse of root of 29 by what is EN2 here EN2 changes so it is instead of 3 is going to become 4 so it is tan inverse root 29 by 4 and it uh, the value turns out to be equals to 53.4 degrees so uh, if uh, theta 2 is 53.4 what would be the angle made by the e resultant E2 with respect to the interface it is obviously alpha 2 alpha 2 given by 90 degrees minus theta 2 90 degrees minus theta 2 so it is 90 degrees minus 53.4 degrees which turns out to be equals to 36.6 degrees so this is the angle made by the second vector e2 with respect to the interface okay yeah